All right, so uh, one of the things you need to be a lexicographer is uh, something called Sprachgefühl, which is a word we stole into German, and it means a feeling for language. So Sprachgefühl is the thing that tells you, for instance, that uh, the sentence, the cat are yowling, is grammatically wrong, but the crowd are loving it is just very British. And so Sprachgefühl is a great word because it's, the Germans have, Germans have words for everything. Um, and one of, and so we stole Sprachgefühl in with a, a bunch of other German words that also describe these things that it's just great to have one word for. So one word that German has that uh, <laughs> describes this great, great thing we don't necessarily have a word for in English. The German word is Kummerspeck, and it refers, it's a word sort of for flab, like the weight that you gain. But the the words literally mean grief bacon in German. And so grief bacon is the sadness you feel <laughs> at having all this flab. So Kummerspeck is one. Um, let me think. There's a Danish word, uh, hyge, I think is how you say it. H-Y-G-G-E, uh, which refers to the coziness of home. Uh, we don't have that in English, but it's Hyge is also this very broad cultural phenomenon. So uh, hand-knit socks are Hyge and fireplaces are Hyge. Um, oh, um, so another, another word is, it's a Finnish word uh, from Finland and it's Sisu. Sisu is uh, sort of generally refers to determination, but determination doesn't quite capture it. It's a spirit of, of determination and uh, sort of quiet. Uh, Sisu is sort of like determination or uh, the best that I could possibly come up with is piss and vinegar, but in a very quiet and Scandinavian way. So.